Hey everyone, welcome back to The Closet. I'm Whitney and I'm here this week to talk about partner slash spouse abuse. I apologize in advance for making this video in black and white, but I had some serious issues with the lighting and it was really, really, really bothering me, so I just decided to make it in black and white. So I hope it doesn't bother anybody, but um, yeah, so that's, that's the reason behind this lack of color. <laughs> but getting back on topic, um, I think Carly mentioned the four major types of abuse, which are neglect, sexual, physical, and emotional. And um, I, I think people kind of have this misconception about partner abuse that it's strictly like fist fighting and beating and punching and everything, and that's just not true. Um, I think there's actually more instances of emotional abuse than there are physical. But um, there's also another type of abuse, and I guess it can fall under the category of emotional abuse, but verbal abuse, um, when someone uses words or body language to inappropriately criticize another person, which I guess kind of goes hand in hand with emotional abuse, because either way, you're criticizing somebody else and their emotions and feelings. But um, I guess the difference between verbal abuse and emotional abuse is verbal abuse um, kind of includes name calling and putting someone down and um, they're usually told that the criticisms are like just a joke and not to be taken seriously. For some reason um, there's also a misconception that it's not possible. Sorry, my, oh my gosh, my eye chat keeps making all these noises and I know I need to just shut it off. Okay, as I was saying, um, there's also a misconception that females can't sexually abuse other females and that is the biggest false statement I've ever heard because it's possible for um, a female to sexually abuse a female because all it really um, entails is unwanted sexual contact. It doesn't mean um, it doesn't mean it has to include raping someone or having sex with someone. It's basically any kind of sexual contact that's unwanted it can be considered sexual abuse. I know Carly brought up the question um, of asking which type of abuse do you think is the worst or if any, you know, but I honestly think that they're all equally as terrible. Um, obviously physical abuse is going to have some long-term effects on somebody, but emotional abuse does the exact same thing as does neglect and definitely sexual abuse. I think they're all pretty equal on um, how serious they are and how, how horribly they can affect a person. It really does frustrate me when I can um, kind of sense instances of abuse in my friends' relationships or people who I know um, their relationships. Whenever I kind of can pick up on instances of abuse, it really frustrates me that I can't get through the person's head that the relationship that they're in is not necessarily a healthy one. Um, but I really can't say that because I've definitely been a part of um, several relationships where I've been um, susceptible to every one of these types of abuse and I know that I haven't um, exactly spoken out or said anything about it or, and I definitely have stuck it out in the relationship which is not typically something you should do but I understand um, sometimes you love and care about somebody so much that you look past all of those faults, but honestly, abuse is never acceptable in any kind of relationship, no matter what kind, heterosexual, homosexual, whatever. Um, it's never acceptable. If you're ever in a relationship where you even think that you might be getting abused or that you could possibly have a chance of getting abused in the future, then um, it's best to just avoid that relationship completely because it's going to end up hurting you probably both physically and emotionally in the end. I'm sure um, a lot of people who are watching these videos can identify with at least one of these types of abuse and um, I just hope that if you're watching and if you are going through any of these types of abuse in your relationship or a past relationship and it's still affecting you, um, I hope that you can speak out and talk to somebody who maybe is close to you or just anybody who will sit and listen. Back in Houston, um, I used to work with women who were domestically and sexually abused. Um, 
in a variety of different ways. Um, we just counseled them and I've learned a lot about abuse and the effects it can have on people. Um, it never really leaves you when you're in a relationship like that because you're always going to have that slight feeling of distrust in the back of your mind, um, even in new relationships. So I know that if anybody, um, if any one of you is going through any types of this abuse and you just need somebody to speak out or talk to, um, talk to me or talk to anybody that you can, but just make sure that you talk about it because keeping all of these instances of abuse to yourself can do more self-damage and self-harm than you could ever, ever imagine. I think that's pretty much it for um, my video on abuse. I don't know what I was about to say there, but um, I think I've um, kind of mentioned the main points um, about my thoughts of abuse, but um, if you have any questions or comments or if you just want somebody to talk to, please message me um, and thank you so much for all of your feedback again on all of my last videos. Also I posted a video, my first video on my personal channel of Halloween in case you're interested but I just have to give you like a pre-warning. Carly's in it too. Um, if you want to check that out my personal YouTube link is somewhere on our homepage I believe and um, I will continue to post my links in the sidebar. I always forget which direction it's in. But um, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully next week we will have a more uplifting slash happy topic. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next Thursday on The Closet.